pulling out the printer. Um, then you'll want to start removing the shipping um, pieces. Yeah, I've removed a couple of the pieces here. I have a bubble wrap that goes around this piece. And then you'll just start to remove um, clips here, the white or colored clips. Go ahead and remove these. There are two of them. That one. <clears throat> Those are shipping. So then you, what you'll want to do is remove the ribbon cable. It's uh, just tucked down inside here. Then you want to remove all the tape, etc. Out, you may have to gently raise this table. You would do so by holding it the back and, and raising gently. On the axis. That'll allow you to remove this piece. This piece of styrofoam contains a cord. The filament spool holder. This goes on the back of the printer, like this, and just slips in. The filament spool So for starters, let's plug in the extruder cable. You want to make sure that it sits flat against the back of the machine, like this. Go ahead, make sure that all the pins are lined up, and press down gently. Usually press from the back. We will go ahead and plug in the machine here with a tip. You want to remove this packaging material and it houses two small cords. Make sure that you push at the very back so that you don't bend the piece of metal at the front. Make sure that all of the pins are aligned. Gently press in until you get it clipped. And we'll proceed with the smaller clip here. Very gently, it slides into place. Now we'll remove the pins. So here's the filament tube holder. It goes on the back of the machine in a vertical slot. Then we have the filament tube and it sits directly above in that um, in that bracket here. And then it sits in the extruder as you can see here. We'll go ahead and put on these sticky um, cable clamps here along the back to hold the extruder cable up. Then open them to accept the extruder cable. And click each one into place. If you ordered the plus kit, this would be the right time to attach the 
um, small clips that attach to the cable and hold the um, filament tube in place to keep this uh, the rest of this extruder cable elevated here. The plate comes leveled from the manufacturer so you shouldn't have to worry about adjusting any of these knobs. Um, if you do find any trouble there's a self it's a called an auto calibration leveling system here in the um, in the menu on screen. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Good luck and feel free to reach out to us with any other questions you may have about the setup of your M200.